Dota fans the world over, are you ready? We got some games to start for you. We got Team Spirit Let's facing off one. against Virtus Pro. The draft is going on. As in the four minute mark, no kills as of yet, just trying to dodge away. Notice is gonna pull this creep wave. Old the back bottom. Chance, an opportunity, FNG gonna go down. They take him, and now Mira might end up going down a second time. Heritage moves forward and secures that finish. Oddly enough, it was Creeps that got both of the kills, but still, it's what you want to see. You've got a couple of heroes that would love to be able to pick him up, and Lina makes the move over. Maposhka is there. Light strike array. They get a haste, too. Not bad. This should be Maposhka going down. Squadix makes the move. Although, wait, a turn. A chance, Maposhka. You god. He was almost able to survive through that one. He did a sidestep behind the trees. It said it is going to be safe. Starting to drop down low. Still a haste turn on Squadix, and that's going to get level six. Comes in with the Laguna Blade takes down another. You want to put as few points as possible because you're just going to get more damage the more points you have in goop. That's kind of the dream right now. And the stats too. We've been seeing a lot of people True. just steal them up consistently, but now finding notice. Good LSA though to turn it and the life drain to heal him back up. Can't get anything out there. Viper's in trouble. Mapochka trying to run away. Team Spirit went up the wrong hill. Oh. Just a, a great example of the importance of positioning there, too, when all you have is an Aether yeah, Lens, you know? Oh, like, yeah. that, that's just all preemptive, great yeah, knowledge so. there from Virtus Pro. But this is why you can't make those dives. Even against this support, like, the fact FNG can sit here is huge for them. Although oh. now, no haunt. Okay, Mira comes in to clean up. I'm all out of pity for the all right, trying to get something going here. That's Squad X, already up to the boots. Mid lane, travel, and a thousand jumps, gold. Chrono, down. Whew. I mean, they're chronoing for the pug now. <laughs> yeah, but they got them. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I do love that item. That one's pretty cool. We saw quite a few, I'd say, in the, uh, the Road to TI so far. Poor Maposhka. They try and turn. Actually gets the Ice Vortex off. Will it be enough damage, though? Lina in trouble. Charge through oh, onto three. Collapse. He's got to get out of there. The LSA is going to connect. Stun for a while. Collapse turns. Wants to get a bash. Not going to find it. And in the end, it is going to be another kill going the way of Virtus Pro. Spirit just can't find a move. They got a chrono for kills. You've seen these like really quick TPs a couple times here because they're recognizing there's not a lot to stop us here. Mira, though, he does get stopped in his tracks there. That is a quick kill. The Aghanim Scepter coming out as well. Very strong. And yeah, looking for more. Collapse tries to run out. Get stunned and brought down 11 to 5. They are all over them. For Team Spirit. So. Right. Yeah, if you want it, you got to get it. I mean, I guess it is, like you said, just a crazy amount of uh, magic resistance that does help out. As down bottom, they managed to find Maposhka, who Glimmer Capes trying to escape. Actually, almost survived that one, but the jump forward, Chrono now onto two, but the LSA oh, is in Chrono. Is it still going to be enough to get him out, though? The Decrep is there, along with the Yule Scepter, charge through onto Sage. They find him the second go. Moving forward onto Squad. Oh, the they get him with the Bushwhack. They need a little bit more damage, but they're not finding him. The LSA to save his own life in a chrono. Even time can't stop this guy. And he finally got Seijin at the same time, which is so unlikely to happen. This is an Aether Lens Pugno with Glimmer. Like, what are the chances you catch him inside the chrono with Alina? You finally do it, and he gets off a godly LSA to save himself. And into the Roche Pit they go. 5k lead, potential Aegis being set up for them right now. This is everything for his pro one with their draft. I don't know if Virtus Pro heard. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh notice. Roche is angry. He's and coming for him. It's Spirit Breaker 2. He's charging through. I think he's going to finish this one off. It's very close. Very close. And no damage. They take him down. Collapses. No, this isn't your Roach. I'm coming in for more. Tries to find more damage. Can he get away? He's slowed. He silenced LSA to finish. Ooh. The supports were smoked trying to get here as fast as possible. Hey, yo, that, that Bristleback kill, though, right? I mean, got him. <laughs> Now they're moving in, but Roche, it's already going to fall. I mean, Spirit are right up on that hill, but they're just a couple of seconds too late. Do they still want to take this fight? They're though? feeling desperate. Mira they, they looking, a little Bushwhack, something. it's online. Can they get it? But the silence is already there. Grimstroke on point. And with the Soulbind out, leashed up, FNG is going to die, but they wanted more. Yeah, and they, they, they can't go for that deep dive right now. Uh, Team Spirit are just going to back out, go and play a little bit more defensively around their Ancients and Tormentor. But 
I think it, it, to feel comfortable and like, I mean, you can never feel comfortable against Team Spirit, but I'd really want to see Virtus Pro pulling the lead out further over the next couple of minutes here. Well, we'll see if they can fight back here. Collapse, charges in, finds one. Notice he's in front, a lot of damage out onto Lina, but now the turn onto Laurel can't stand a chance. There's way too much damage coming out with BKB on a notice. Can't do anything. They're just gonna retreat back. Collapse just charging across the map right now. Yeah. And uh, so some pretty cool ideas here. They have this ward in the mid lane that's giving him some like preemptive vision on the waves, which is something that's going to be super important for the Spirit. We're going to keep the game going. So the deeper wards that you can get as the supports on Team Spirit, that'll allow Collapse to try and catch these waves mm. just randomly across the map. And he's just able to charge right through them. And well, there it is, folks. The 26-minute Midas for the Viper. I hope your seats are comfortable. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Team Spirit are going to try and do what they can to take this game as late as possible. I mean, we'll see if it actually works out. But notice, he's getting charged again. Collapse. He sees that ice path. He's hungry. Although the ice blast is about to wear out. So it's going to have to cancel that charge. It's Kiritich. It's a risky pick. <laughs> I feel like every time you see a Viper, everyone kind of thinks it. It's like, oh, I wonder if they'll, they'll pick Viper this game. They never really do, but grabbing it here. <laughs> Not working out so far. Yeah, got that courier, though. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you got to do. That was actually the completed Aghanims right now, so no Flame Cloak uh, for Squadix. Oh, yeah. Collapse. Oh, he got caught. They find him. Although, charge through, tries to escape Yule's long range gets caught and will be punished. That's what you get for ulting my courier. And noticed right now. Oh, yeah. Insane move. Buys a blink dagger. Because how do you start these fights right now as Virtus Pro, right? They, they don't actually have these, like, normal initiation styles, right? No. Uh, so he, he's just going to get in him. there. That's how he's going to start a fight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And now Maposhka tries to escape. There is no escape. The old pig man <laughs> takes him down. I mean, and speaking of, you know, these these going in builds, oh, Yadro. Yeah, I mean, he gets the Wisdom Rune, but he's going to pay for that. No, Time Walk gets away. Time Dilation. Chrono now on to one. Wants to find that kill. Okay. The he says, yeah, I'll take that one and get out. Why not? All right, he's gaming. Crowd likes that. Two Spear fans in the building. I mean, that's what you need to do to get back in this game. Oh, he's Without. getting the Lotuses. Oh, there's so many. One, Meanwhile, two, Laurel. three. Laurel. can't even get them all. Laurel. Oh, going to drop. Notice is too strong. <laughs> They need whatever they can get at this point in the game, not going to lie. You know, he actually did get the Vindicator's Axe, too, by the way. Which, okay. Uh, kind of the luckiest thing with the build that he went, of course. That That Dude. is the dream. Dude. That is terrifying. Dude, blink Axe Bristleback in every game, please. I want it. But right now, nobody home on the side of Team Spirit with no Aegis for a while. They're still feeling comfortable. I mean... We've seen a lot of high ground pushes go badly. Oh, Virtus Pro, is this going to be a little bit too bold of a move, or are they comfortable just continuing to make this? They'll force out the glyph. Do they stick around for more? They they seem to have the heroes for it, but I just I can't help but feel uncomfortable. We've seen so many high ground pushes go bad, but a Yule Scepter lift up. Have they found the secret, the way to break it on to collapse? He's stunned, but there's the bushwhack. Ice Blast afterwards connects. Notice starting to fall lower and lower, but not going to go down. And with Spectre in the back lines, destroying Mapochka, he's finding more. Kiritich tries to TP out. Does he have a way to escape? The life drain heals him back up, and now Laura also in trouble. Virtus Pro say we don't want to go late game. And Yadaro not there to help out BP. Trying to put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, he's got no chrono. Not a whole lot he can do in the situation. Trying to delay as much as they can, but they, they need him. If they want to hit these ice blasts, if they want to do some crazy combo. going to happen. They're on to him again. Yeah, they're the ones getting comboed right now. And that Agnum's after getting killed on the courier. Finally delivered. Get a kill, and then he's going to be chronoless. Man. Well, he jumps in. Yadaro right in front of Kiritich, but Sage right next to him, too. Jump in, bushwhack there. They find notice. Already dead Maposhka. No ice blast got out. And now they're in trouble. They got to run away. Kiritich onto him. Chasing, looking for more. Leashed. Now trying to escape. Collapse. Gets the charge through. Connects onto him. Another bushwhack. Jump back from Yadro. Laro. He can't get away as quickly. They're going to run down. This Viper doesn't have anywhere else to hide. Notice the charge is going out onto him. Collapse. Needs to get away. Oh, but the he is going to die. The flame coat bonus. The blink forward from the Lena. They're just finding kill after kill after kill. Virtus Pro will not be denied. This game number one, they want to take the lead as they head straight on in. 
these tier four towers, as a matter of fact, say, yeah, we don't need another Rax. Man, we don't get to see a lot of Lina these days, but what a game from Squadix. Just perfectly positioned this entire game. Nine, two, and nine. Oh. And then utilizing the flame cloak as well to just fly right over the wall. Just hiding in the trees, lurking behind all of his allies. A yeah. Spectre and Bristle up front, making it so simple. And the backup saves of F and G. They've had enough. I mean, what a game. They can't do anything. Absolutely perfect performance from Virtus Pro. Yeah. This young squad of players led by one old head in FNG, a very similar formula to how Team Spirit won TI just two years ago. We'll see if they can make it happen again, but already Virtus Pro off to a great start. Dota fans, the world over and here in the arena. We got a great game coming up for you right now. Game number two. Game number one was a little bit of a stomp. There, you get hit by an illusory orb. Doesn't matter, right? Just right. shield it off. Mira makes the movement over. Um, trying to get a little bit of separation from FNG. Help save you stand bottom. In trouble. A chance, an opportunity, a couple more hits, and yeah, that's going to be it. Yadaro takes down the first kill, and now body blocks coming in from Maposhka. Not often that you get to see this position five tusk, but Maposhka can play it pretty well. I know there's at least one confused viewer wondering why that invoker was there. And as I think Sheep talked about on the panel, they're going to need to see uh, some rotations maybe later to find some kills, see if they can maybe play together with the Tusk Muerta. But here to the side, it's where they want to try and find FNG. It lasts long so long. Duration <laughs> on Inkswell, but it's still not going to be enough. Kiritich threw out the stun, now throwing another grenade. The stun oh. strike! Oh. Just enough to take down Mira. That is actually kind of huge, though. Absolute. For an invoker that early. A support invoker, nonetheless. Yeah, to get a little bit of help uh, towards that urn. I mean, he's going to pay for it now as they find the silence, the calling, a couple more hits, gunslingers, and a dead shot for notice. And as you can see, making the move over, they're going to try and deny a rune. Laurel, he's in some trouble. As Mira moving in, they're committing everything to try and shut down this TA. Is it going to work? Six minute rune, it's down bottom. Sunstrike not going to connect onto the Grimstroke, but they still should be able to run down Mira. So yeah. giving up his life oh, wait, for the TPs? bottle. And, Everyone's coming in. Dude, they all showed up. A Sage is right on top of Maposhka. With the haste and the rundown, it might be enough to take down this tusk. Sage right on top of him. Laura was there. Does have level six though. Now Dream Coil connects onto three. Do they have more help? Are any teammates here to help at all? No, they get one kill. Now looking for a second. Oh, the movement! They well. They get enough! They have the chase down. That is exactly what Laurel needed. Help comes. Oh, he's going for the seven-minute rune, and no, they're not gonna let you have that one. So we'll run down FNG, and it's going to be a trade-off of two Wisdom runes apiece. Sunstrike. Oh, oh, they got him. Take that with you, why don't you? You know, it's, I mean, they do manage to take down the Centaur. He's a pretty beefy guy. Got a CK, he's probably going to be ha uh, full HP up top there. And then dealing with refractions is always a, a bit of a bother. So Ooh. tough to get the game moving. It's going to be really important. They're going to go they, again. They start committing. On to notice, three points in tag team. This is a huge kill if they can get it. The hoof stomps there, runs back into the calling, trying to bring him down. A couple more hits, and the dead shot is there for the finish. That is very nice, although they might lose Yadro now. Sun strike to follow. After the stun, it's enough for the kill. Maposhka, too, is going to die, so they get the kill on the centaur. And the, you know, only core below me is a centaur. That's going to be an arcane, and you look at this. Collapse just gets ran at. Trying to dodge the sun strike. Nicely played by Collapse. But now the stampede, the roll, the turn. They find him. Laurel onto Kiritich. Armlet still going, sitting pretty. Inkswell, they break it. That's TP taken away. That is the buff for Grimstroke and why this hero is good. At least it's this road to the international that we've been I mean, great flex as well. The sports have looked great. When you hit those saving Deadshot plays too, like, oh, it yeah. can be so impressive. I mean, obviously you can do that as a core as well. Oh, interesting. So we, oh, move in immediately. Gets the supernova off. They didn't time the stun right. Doesn't matter, still dead. Stampede, try and save it. Laurel caught, doesn't get hit by the sun strike, but pulled in and killed oh, off by Kiritich. Now oh. Mira, he's running away, collapse. 
does have enough distance for the moment, although a two-second stun. And now the Tornado, Blade Mail is there. They're bringing in help from Aposhka, tries to turn it now onto Kirintic. Yadro there as well. They have the dead shot, the connection, the Gunslingers, great shards, catches now on a save. They're going to bring him down too. Squad X turns, wants to bring down Collapse, but it's still a bit scary to chase forward, and there's the blink away. Collapse, wondering why they didn't learn their lesson. You know, that's a bit of a greedy play. Farming up as much space as he can on the map. The rest of the allies of Team Spirit trying to provide that space. And a big item for the Dawnbreaker. The item that truly brought her back into the meta was the upgrade to this... Oh, I say that. Oh, oh. Collapse. Collapse turns. Now the spin, the damage. Squadix right on top of Collapse. No, the heal is going to be enough to keep him strong. Tries to TP out. Do they have any way to break it? Yes, they do. Notice comes in clutch at the end. So Virtus Pro take two kills. Yeah, much needed there. And that, that was, of course, the Deso just getting delivered to this item that uh, the hero absolutely loves. But Poshka in a bit of trouble. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. I mean, you talked about it. This is the window where Kiritich starts to really come online. Echo. So a smoke to the top side after baiting the TA for a moment. They're going to run into Maposhka first. Collapse is a really good target if they can get it. And... Does he manage to break it? Yes. So they find Maposhka right at the start. Dawnbreaker getting chased and found. Does he have a way out of there? Snowball keeping him under control. They do bring down one, and now the turn for the second kill. Same thing versus a, a CK and everyone else. Well, this would be a nice pickup. They keep finding these little snipes. And also has the Philly Stone. You'll have to see that one. Top tower is under attack. Sage hasn't seen a, a tier two yet, actually, on the poker. But up top, they're hunting. Find him. Yadro pulled in. No, doesn't connect. Pops the BKB. They back away. Wow, just like that. Now the Walrus Punch. He's going in 2 4. Kiritich thought he had a fight. He did not. Oh, now wow. everyone's kind of rotating over a little bit late. You don't want to get caught oh, on the way oh. out. Got to be careful. They have the silence. Going to bring down that Phoenix. Easy as pie. BKB for Noticed is delivered. BKB for Squadix is there. Brutus Pro, their positioning is very strange right now. Playing around the rune. The rune ends up spawning down bottom. Aposhka gets found right on a trap. That's what you want to see. Can they find more? Silence now on Demira. Control there. Laurel tries to back away. Collapse. Isolated Notice, but not able to bring him down. Mira Soulbind now onto Kiritich. They back out. Link up two of them together. Yadro wanting to chase. Inkswell there. Laurel chases. Finds the Silence onto him. The Cal Laurel. They got him, but he gets away. They shift at the last second, Yadaro. trying to escape, but they shun him down. Yadaro. The chase, the continue. Yadaro, does he have enough damage? Three seconds, stun. BKB wears out, still stun. Now Squadix on to him, but he gets caught. Dawnbreaker comes back in for the final connection. Poshka back into the fight. Two seconds, stun. In trouble, still going to fall. Triple kill for Yadaro as they hunt for more. A back and forth battle with Maposhka buying back. And it's going to be up to the rest of the squad of, uh, of Team Spirit to find the visions. That way you can take that fight. So now into the pit they're going to go. It's going to drop so quickly. And they're making the move from Virtus Pro, but swear it's going to take too long. The they're not getting the veil. There. It's just too much. Look at this. They're moving down, trying to run in. It's, it's too late. Can they take the fight after? Dawnbreaker still ready to jump. Virtus Pro together. They just got Aghanims on the Invoker. They have the Scythe on FNG as well. If he sees the looking, right target. Looking, looking, hunting. He's still in vision. No, they jump forward, find him. But Poshka off to the side. They get him with the Hex, the Cataclysm. Yadro jumps away and now turning. Wants to hit onto that egg. BKB already out. Collapse in, brings it down. Now they did kill off them where it's already. Laurel tries to back oh, away. Gets out. The tries to escape. Yadro gun slinging away. Does he have enough damage? Oh, can he get out of there? Survives. He turns it around. Triple kill, Yadro goes for an ultra. Oh, it couldn't have been worse. Just a second away from no pierce the veil. He gets pops it. it and immediately pops them, but is almost into the Daedalus. Okay, sizable damage upgrade at this point. Jumps in, snowball the start, finding more with the Inkswell stun. Control bash gone, just like that. Meanwhile, Maposhka getting hit with the cold snap. The sun three second cataclysm gone. Okay. So they connect in on the two. Ooh, now do they go, they go for, for more? Are you going to buy that? Mira, silence onto both. 
thinking about jumping, but not going as of yet. And instead, Notice is there for the turn. And now the Dream Quill connects onto both. Collapse runs forward. Yadro starting to lay in. Brings down one. Wants to find another. Squadix in trouble. FNG caught by the fear. He gets the Supernova off, though. That's enough to turn it for the moment. They lose the Grim Stroke, but they already bought back on this Phoenix. Yeah, buyback as well from the Tusk, too, I believe. Getting that one. They held for a long time on FNG because it didn't really look like the fight was going to develop anymore after that. They're coming back in on Team Spirit. They want to bring him down. Notice he's in some trouble, but they managed to find the stun. Okay, Dawnbreaker ult now in to join the fight. FNG is gone. Didn't stand a chance there. As the blade mail has popped and collapsed, they're still hunting Notice, but they're going to settle for the tier two. Still have another three minutes on this Aegis. Muerta steps in, gets kicked back. Easy connection, notice down low, but not dead yet. Now the Dawnbreaker, Ulti connects onto Kiritich, trying to kill him off. Does get Living. the burn and down pretty low. So they hold out on that high ground push with the kick after Maboshka dies. That's Gem on the ground. Oh, wait. Jumps in, catches everybody. Let it go. Starts ripping them to shreds. Sayuch almost dead. Laurel wants to hunt, wants to get away, but no. It managed to find the kill, and now the jump forward collapse. Wants to get that gem back, wants to get out of here, but with buybacks oh. coming in, they might have stepped a bit too far forward. Turn now on to collapse, down very low HP, but Muerta doing some good hits. Yadro trying to stand his ground. That is three already dead behind the tower. Notice. Now the jump forward, the stun, the collapse, the jump. Yadro goes down. Can they get him a second time? Team Spirit, you gotta learn the rule. Never, ever go high ground. It is a folly. Although, here's the veil. Maybe you could do it against that. Try to find a couple more. In onto them. They have buyback on the Phoenix if they want to do it. There's the lift up connection. Nice Stop. A couple more hits and they get the finish. Virtus Pro coming back with a vengeance after their high ground was disrespected. All five go down. Oh, they chase so deep there. If VP are not careful, they got to be so I mean, look at Poshka. Send a dream through Don't the orb. Meanwhile, Collapse is just firing away. Collapse is up there now. Oh, hey. Look, they're taking a whole Rax. But Kiritich finds him. Three seconds done. Cataclysm. Is it going to be enough? They find and kill Collapse. They Can they get back bottom, though? Team Spirit already there trying to bring it down. They're going to trade it. They have the Invoker, but he can't stop this. Interesting. I mean, that's there's no way you're getting back to go for that kill. I mean, yeah. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. Aposhka not connecting on the FNG. They are immediately running back down here. One take advantage of the numbers. Force this buyback here. I mean, this is the worst hero to try and kill because Collapse has buyback and can get right back into the fight. But if they get him again. That's true. I mean, he's super crucial in these fights. You're not wrong. Jump forward. Hex is there. Control. Maposhka. Oh, low fire. dead. And now Collapse in the midst of the fray in a terrible position. It's going to start to get isolated. Do they have enough no to bring him down? This is going to be a dieback for Collapse. That is what they were waiting for. The and gamble. now, look at Yadaro. Yadaro in trouble. Silence. That's dead one time. Can they find more? Mapochka control on to notice. Snowball, he's going to fall. Squadix trying to find more. He's just fighting illusions, though, as Yadaro gets forced out. All low gone. Mapochka, though, this is going to be another one. They fight Kiritich. He's dead. More dead. This is going to be a second dieback, but they lost Kiritich. Can they do anything else? Virtus Pro win the fight, lose the Aegis. Maybe too scary, though. Safer bet. Yadro walks forward. Oh, gets the stun. Going crazy. <laughs> that guy's nuts. <laughs> they try and get him. Tornado lift up, but he's lifted for a long time. Yadro, he didn't get hit by the stun. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. Dark Portrait is scary. And now buildings are being hit. Still 40 seconds without collapse. Puck is gone for 30. Yadaro having to do it all alone. The ink swell to break it. And now the turn, the and is going to be there. Can they kill him off? Yadaro going to be lifted. Why Lotus. is this so scary with two heroes? Right on top of him because it's Yadaro. But Yadaro caught it dead. Now he does have buyback 100 seconds away. VP, how long do you want to stick around? How much do you want right now? I mean, it's just too close for you know, the buyback on the Laurel. There's no way, right? Can't stop and save that. Oh. Virtus Pro not giving him an opportunity to get it. Yadaro walks high ground. They're under a ward here. Catches Deadshot. Hex again. So ready. Stun. Now on to two, but there's no follow up. Kiritich now tries to get onto him. Yadaro turns. Hasn't popped that much yet as Collapse tries to back away. Laurel under control. Silence. Disarm. Still fine. Poposhka oh, hits the cheese. Now the kickback. He kicks him away. Oh. Splits the uprights. 
and dead in an instant. That's GA gone. That's more. This might be the fight they were waiting for. Kiritic starts to die. The Supernova's out. Notice, under control. They're gonna get that stun. No! The snowball save! Maposhka, the man, on top of it. They find more. Kill him off again. Triple kill. Yadaro. That is what Spirit needed. Team Spirit rally back. They have creeps in their base still. I mean, what's gonna happen now? It looks like they're just gonna try and defend the last racks. Look how Virtus Pro are playing right now. Smoked up, buyback Blood. status, none of them. Blood Nobody it. has buyback. Nobody, but look at that, Yadro gets caught. Still no, the snowball save is there for the turnaround yet oh. again. They got what they need. Laurel, can he do enough? They try to bring him down quickly. Dead for two minutes. They bring it back in fabulous fashion. Team Spirit, the hexes are not enough. The supernova is not enough. But do they have enough of the sun ray? Not going to happen. Maposhka, the captain, is there to carry the game oh. with picks, with snowballs. He does it. Even still a little bit safe. Their hopes of staying in the upper bracket right there. And there's the jump forward. The Hex onto two. Collapse onto him as well. They can't stomp. They can't do anything. Stampede won't get him away. FNG is going to fall. We are going to a game number three, Seattle. The map movements here from Team Spirit throughout this game. We're going to go for a keeper like mid, some vessels, some boots of travel, keep playing on their timings of early kills. And if they fall, if they kind of fall flat and miss execute, I can see Yotoro just ripping through this game. Uh, and they're going to body block these creeps, so it's going to push in under the tower. And he had to actually TP on Kiritich. Wait a minute. Oh, I love this play. FNG, they take Gush level one. We're taking that first blood for himself. Collapse has had a very frustrating couple of games. He's ready to have a good one for himself on Tidehunter. But is he going to get it? Kaseyush is also here. They're making the move with Maposhka in tow. They oh, he's going for the, the stack him. at the same right time. On top of him. Yeah, steps into no man's land. The dead shot, but a couple more hits. Will he survive long enough? Tornado lift up and stolen wisdom rune. Now, can they get out? Maposhka, he's going to get stunned and killed as Whoa! denied by the neutral. Nothing going, Virtus Pros. Wait, it's a 2K gold lead at seven minutes. And well, that is potentially an issue as collapse right onto him. And do they have enough to kill? Yes, indeed. Can just keep running forward for more. I mean, they, they really don't have an answer for this. And the tempo that they're playing at on Team Spirit is presenting a lot of issues for Virtus Pro. Yeah, Arcane Rune for Laurel. TP coming in immediately onto him. That's a oh. good catch. The silence was there right on point, but then the pushback. Will it be enough to find the kill? Yes, it will. Oh, and Iris, what Virtus Pro needed. They find him. Mira now in trouble. Notice right onto him. Tries to get that kill, and they are going to get it. Collapse has to back out as Virtus Pro bring four. Collapse just continues to plant himself wherever he wants. Has the pipe delivered to him from the courier, and now eyeing up that blink dagger so they can actually go for aggressive plays when they want. Off of something other than just a jump to there. Stun. Three swipes, and he's dead. Can they find more, though? The turnaround on this would be big. They managed to bring him down. Yadro falls. Signs of life for VP. I mean, that's the thing. They have overwhelming ma magic damage right now, right? With this Solar Bind combined up with the Illuminate and some Spirit Vesseling. But right now, sitting pretty. And these side lanes not feeling safe because of that tree. Like <laughs> They're scanning. About. Yeah, they know. <laughs> Like, they, they know that they can just die so quickly, and they're just outside of the scan. They, they have to get some ob centric combos. Yeah. It's the only option right now. For or do this. Bring numbers down for Laurel. Gets him there with the silence. Looks in for the stun. The Inkswell takes forever to come in. And now, with the follow-up hit, they have enough. Laurel, Done. very, very low, ends up dying. Oh, they got him. Connection for more. Good dead shot. Just like that, Virtus Pro come back in, get a couple clutch kills. And now they're running right into him. He's a thousand gold away from the Radiance. They move in, they find him. Kiritich in trouble, goes for the haunt away down south though. Connects onto Laurel. Now the jump, they chase him down and now oh, jumps he's away. Out. He's back out of there. Maposhka collapsed, they're both onto him, wanting to find that kill to silence. He gave him the old dosi do. We're in America now, baby. <laughs> As they chase for more. They actually get Mira. Find one kill. Mira ends up going down. Can they get any more? Notice burning, slightly dying, and wants to deny himself. Uh, Maybe gets to die by the neutral creeps. Now, Sage back into it. That's two dead for two, but one of them was a deny. 
Yeah, if they're like stacked on top of each other, yeah. Okay. True. I mean, that is that is. I mean, there's other. You know, you get 55 damage. That's fair, right? You get some evasion. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, do you think that that Virtus Pro would want to try and go in for a battle now, like in terms of the their timings and when they're hitting it? Oh, collapse. Here it's to got the, the shard. LC. Oh my god. Not great when you're. Uh, Harry gets it, but now the injection of gold that helps him out a little bit. Collapse. I mean, he came in for one kill. One of the Ravage finally gets it now. Trying to escape, but the burn. Right, the dead shot. Does he get the he snipe? Needs he needs another hit. No! <laughs> it takes off. The Phantom is to embrace. Managed to find that stun. Yadro walks forward onto notice, trying to bring him down. Gets swiped to death. Maposhka still hunting. Sunstrike getting vision. Sayich is nearby, and now Maposhka, he's gone out too far. Mira shows up, throws down the Bramble Maze. One last hit. Sidesteps it. The pushback. And then the DOT is enough to kill off Poposh. Ravage, he's got to get some arcanes. I mean, Ravage, Overgrowth, Sven Stun. Yeah. There's a good chance you get caught inside multiple sudden strikes. Uh, Muerta at least has a Force Staff, but Grim Oh, mid lane spot out. out. There it is. Oh, they have no. enough to get him. They don't quite, can't connect. Yadro, now it's back away. Notice is going to be there with the stun. Long duration dodge, the tornado, but heals back up Satanic. immediately. And now Collapse there, too. Do they have enough to burn him down one time? They will. Everybody grouped together, four of them to the side. Notice still way too far forward yeah. as the fear connects. He's dead. And they will punish that hard. Now, that is Aghanim's Scepter done on Wraith King. So he's going to live a little longer. But Team Spirit, they got what they came for. I mean, we did also see there the Yadaro Satanic start to become an issue. But mid lane. Oh, smoke. That got spotted by Ops. Oh, well played, Maposhka. Nicely done. They have Haunt now, too. Oh, they do indeed. No notice, though, so... Collapse got stomped by the Centaur. Maposhka still scouting, sees the rotation. Collapse immediately jumps. Jump in, drops the anchor on him. Laurel immediately caught upon. Yadaro, too. Heritage thinks about chasing oh, he's more. Onto Laurel, taking a lot of damage. Continues oh, he's to hold around. Deep. Tries to jump away. There's nowhere left to go. In trouble, Kyrtis, but he's in a man. Oh, oh. Force Staff keeps him alive. And just like that, they might have gone in too far. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Yadro, the E-Blade, he's still healing back up. FNG is dead. Can they look for more? Muerta also in trouble. Notice starts to fall, drops him into the Meteor Hammer. Notice is going to get burned down to death. Do they have enough to quite kill him off? Still trying to back away. But the Ag Scepter coming in, Wraith King keeping himself alive, but can't do anything. They end up finding two for one. Yadro, moving forward here. They want to see if they can find somebody. Maposhka wants to be scouting up ahead. They're moving. He does. He in biz. They just dropped that sentry ward down. They see him immediately. Yadro turns. They already got the hex. And now the dead shot, the silence, the chase, that vision, but turns it. Lotus Orb keeps him alive. Notice gets stunned back on himself. Catches him there with the anchor. Collapse still wants to bring down Notice. The fight off to the side. Can they find any more? He's dropping lower, but they get noticed out of trouble. They have a scythe coming on Class's courier as well. It's on its way. Dark Willow, Mira in far. They have great vision though. Ogre Seal Totem looking forward. Catches only one with the fear. Now Kiritich shows up, finds Mira immediately onto him. Yadaro dies, but the Cataclysm, the damage, it's almost enough, and it is! Squadix assembles the Aeon Disc, but the stun is going to be there. On to three, what one of them save. Goes, and now the Hex on to both of them. Connection, the fear, starts to fall lower and lower and lower. They're going to throw out all their damage, but it's not enough to take down Yadaro. Yadaro standing tall, streaming forward, finding another kill. He backs out Squad X and Kiritich. they got to get out of here. There's only a couple left, and they can... Oh, the Anchor! Down. They connect onto him. Anchor down, leashed up, starting to fall. Kiritich nowhere else to go as the tornado is going to kill him off. Laurel with the triple kill and no buybacks. Oh, they're slowly whittling down in that fight. It was getting a little bit scary. Yeah, you can see Yadro doesn't care about oh, anything. Squadix TPing into this tower. Dangerous. Looking. He's in trouble. Aeon Disc wants to back away. Dead shot to get him out of there. But Maposhka is right on top. Cataclysm, Force Staff, keeping him alive. Can he get out of there? Ravage connects, pushes onto two. He's gone. They take down that Coddle. Now look for more. No finding one. kill after kill. And I mean, Laurel, he's taking some damage from the Wraith King Ghost, but it won't be enough to get the kill. They do force the Overgrowth. Yeah, Kira did reality is to Laurel, and it's still chasing him a bit here. Uh, That's a full TP next Heritage, to the Volker. That, that is not what you wanted to do. He's in way too far. The Hex is there. Kiritich brought down. Open for an opening.
Yadaro jumps in, stun, Inkswell, Aeon Dis doesn't stand a chance. Immediately brought down Team Spirit, standing tall, keeping this moving going. And well, uh, Collapse is not walking away. They're all up on the high ground. They're all ready for more battle. I mean, he's got two Ravages. And they are gone. Don't have much left in the tank. Spirit here to play. Alacrity spend beating buildings. They do have buyback on Kiritic. Roche is up in eight seconds. Thinking they get the dead shot connection. Now last tier three tower alive. Stepping forward onto notice. Down to half HP. Kiritic jumps forward. Starts to bring a low. Will it be enough? No. The terrorize is there. They have their answer. Fear pushes back Yadro, but the stun, the ravage, the cataclysm times two. It's too pretty. Double ravage, double Gata. Keep looking for more. Notice is about to fall again. He's going to come back in a green light, but then there's not a whole lot left in the tank. But Poshka still hasn't been hit. That is Mega Creeps. Team Spirits, the favorites coming in. A triple kill as they taunt their way towards the victory. Not a whole lot left for Virtus Pro. They have looked so good this entire time. GG is finally called. Team Spirit. They did not lose a game leading up to today, and Virtus Pro did push them to the limit, but Team Spirit came out on top.